Beatrice de Lavalette is our first to go. Beatrice riding in her first Paralympic Games. Beatrice de Lavalette is 22 years old. She's trained by Shana Simon and has been riding her new horse, Clark, for just a year. But it's a connection with her horses that's been a reliable constant, lifting de Lavalette up from difficult turns and unimaginable lows. When I was about 15, my family moved to Belgium. My dad got a job there, so we moved up there from France. And for me, it was a very hard move. There was a young lady who was very happy at her school, very happy with her friends, very happy with all of her sports and her life, who was really angry with us. That was a very tough period. And ultimately, the only thing that fixed it was a really cute little white mare named Dee Dee. There was an instant chemistry between Bea and this amazing white mare. It was as though she needed Bea as much as Bea needed her. Once I started riding again, that was my way out, a way to channel my anger into something better. They're just the perfect pair. And in fact, she basically is the reason Bea's still here. For me, it was a regular travel day. I was being a total teenager on my phone with my headphones and looking down, not really paying attention at all to what was going on around me. Um, and then everything went dark. Two explosions in the departure hall at Brussels Airport. I remember the feeling of being lifted off the ground. When I came to, I knew that I was burned and bleeding, but I didn't realize just how badly injured I was. After a while, I started uh, hearing again, and I could hear people screaming for help. And I remember thinking I should probably be doing the same thing. What I learned later is that I was actually tagged red in the triage, which means most likely not to survive, so not a priority. I found the energy and the, and the strength to, to throw my right hand up, right up in the air. The phone rang, and it was one of the social workers at the military hospital in Brussels saying, she's here, she's alive, and she's in surgery, and it's bad. After coming out of the coma, I was in a very, very bad place. That was the beginning of a long and difficult journey. Um, for me, it was just the worst time of my life. She was lost. She was very, very lost. She didn't know what she was going to do. I mean, she wanted to be a professional athlete. That was her goal. But there is no going back. There are no what ifs. You just have to move forward. And you just have to focus on things that are up ahead of you. I had a window looking out to a little patch of grass outside my hospital room. And I was always joking around that it'd be great to see Dee Dee there. And one day my mom came in and said, OK, you have to get out of bed. I have a surprise for you outside. When that horse saw her, no legs, burns, scars all over her face, 
Um, she recognized her instantly. Dee Dee put her head against my chest and hugged me. And that moment was one of the most beautiful moments I've had in my whole life. That was the day Bea snapped out of it. That was the day that Bea said, I'm going to do this. I kind of surprised myself a little bit, and I was like, oh my god, I'm actually going to do this. <laughs> Someone's hungry. She just has that grit in her. And it was from before the accident, but since the accident, it's, it's impressive. With her horse, Dee Dee, back home in Florida, her competition horse, Clark, was her mount in Tokyo. Beatrice de Lavalette and Clark for the United States of America. Really positive riding in this working trot. Some real good walk steps, good rhythm. Dressage consists of three main aids, your seat, your hands, and your legs. Bea has had to find different ways to make up for her legs and her seat. So she has two whips that she uses as her legs. It's amazing how she can ride the way she rides now. She is unbelievable. Good crossing here. The horse has a good flowing walk. Good clear four beat rhythm. Led with a sudden halt, but a good fluent task. Five years after her catastrophic injuries, De Lavalette finished sixth in her first Paralympics. And to her, it's just the beginning. <laughs>